What's up guys, Free Nachos here, back again with a brand new Let's Play series on my channel. This time we are playing Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West on the PlayStation 5 console. We are streaming as always straight from Twitch. All these streams are uploaded to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash free nachos. So if you ever miss an episode, feel free to go over there and check out any episodes you might have missed. So here we are, the day has finally arrived. Horizon Zero Dawn's sequel, Forbidden West, is available here to play this is february 18th the release date of the game i'm very excited to bring this to you guys and i plan on playing this a lot alongside with my dying light 2 let's play series those two games are pretty much going to carry me for the next several months so if you are here and you do enjoy this type of thing i'm going to go ahead and link my dying light 2 let's play in the description as well but let's go ahead and get right into forbidden west Let's see. Look at the world to find your way. <laughs> Minimal information. Icons on screen. Let's just do guided for now. We'll see how we like it. Here we go. Forbidden West. Oh, this game is already gorgeous. I can feel the haptic feedback in my controller. Okay, these are all machines we've seen before. of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. God, this game is gorgeous. Look at the lighting and the particles and the beads of water. Every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky through a field of flowers. Center. I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts.
This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl. Varl? <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Look at the environmental Both, effects. Actually, but um in the air. I should Oh no. The light as it I goes through the particles. Away. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> oh, giving him a focus. A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, <laughs> I'll have to explain everything as we go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Varl's mind is like blown right now. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? <laughs> All right, here we go, boys. Forbidden West. All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants, stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. My god, look at these plants. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps oh my you see what we need. There. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. Medicine pouch. Same function as the first game. God, this game is gorgeous. Bitter? No, yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Look there, more of the blight. <coughs> blight. Blight. <coughs> It's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Wow, Those just ruins. walking That's around right now. Wow, the game, the colors, the textures. Very impressive. Down. 
Oh, what's down here? I'll take that loot. Oh my god, there's fish in the water? This is, like, amazing. This is, like, jaw-dropping right now. I mean, look at... What are we after exactly? Look at that. The backup? Well, um... It's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Locks. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Wow. I know I keep saying it, but I'm just enthralled in this game right now. Can't wait to be spending the next 50 plus hours in this world. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Weapon wheel, arrows, craft. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. Hold on, guys. I'm going to get rid of this black bar going across um, one moment. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, for some reason, uh, sometimes when I adjust my volume, the black bar comes up. I apologize for that. Let's keep going. There's a ladder, but can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. After you. What was I don't know. The transmission. The uh we need to find a way in. So, um what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. What is going on here? The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. What is going on over here? Wow. Look at this blight just spreading. Looks like there's spores coming off of it of some kind.
So just in case you guys were curious, we are doing resolution mode. Simply because, you know, I want my stream to be as clear and detailed as possible, so I'm willing to sacrifice the 60 FPS. Down this way. In order to get the highest fidelity possible. Get to the cross. I watched a video on Digital Foundry about this game, and they said they preferred resolution mode as well. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those it's are its weak spots. It's a weak spot. Right. Weak versus fire. Its eye and its back. Scroll through the machine's components. See if we can take a look here. Okay, concentrate. There we go. Another one's coming. Go ahead and highlight him. There's the eye. know all that it reads data on the machine like a hunter studying its prey yeah kind of so after the fuss over me leaving what did everyone else do well as soon as the celebration was over my mother led the rest of the Nora home the sun king put his people to work rebuilding the city and I set out to find you. Another ladder. I need to shoot off the lock. I know, Aloy, I know. Got it. You only have to teach me once. Come on, Farrell. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Okay. All familiar controls. This is good. Texas. Welcome to the far we'll Zenith okay, launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades at Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess they like. I should be able to pry this open. Elizabeth Sobek could get in anywhere, so for this place to be locked down from her must be fairly top secret. It's climbing gear. Yes, someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp. Why 
I doubt. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. Then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Metal clamp. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. Some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. His focus is too good. How do people ever survive without them? Part of a machine could help fix the gears. cable stronger than rope all right i think i have what i need to repair the tool or maybe even make something better you could use this workbench oh damn they got a workbench right here hell yeah let's use that oh shit special gear pull caster an improved version of a delivers prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects also enables grappling to specific points Oh, okay. Let's craft it. There. A uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Pole caster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in an environment that have a graded pattern. I just walk up to it and tap. What do I tap? Uh, triangle. Okay. Oh, wow. Hold and pull. I thought. Damn, dude. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Let's try it. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to... Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Ah. Ladder there. 
I think we can climb here. Pulse didn't turn up much. I better stand. Be grappled. I don't think I'm doing this right. Jump and tap, tap X. Oh, okay. Wow, that works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Climb. Nice. Um, moving tap to sprint. Okay, so you can do a long jump by sprinting and jumping. Gotcha. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Okay, where is the ladder? A supply crate. I think I can use the pull caster on it. Oh, okay. That's useful. That's very useful. I like it. I like all the freedom that we have here to solve to solve puzzles. Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. <laughs> Humanity's first off world colony. Varl has no idea what's going on. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality. Why is his face blurred? <laughs> Playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Uh. 